just don't know how to start these. Pardon me, but I have a hard question that I need to ask you. If you create an image that is stunning, what is the most important tool that you use in the process? I really want you to think about that while enjoying some of this tasty B-roll and dramatic soundtrack. Maybe it's your camera? Uh, no, I think it is resolution. You absolutely need 4K, that's what people tell me online anyway. Perhaps it is that expensive lens kit you have rented. I'm sure all of those things couldn't hurt. But the answer is light. Quality light. Hi, my name is James Powers and I'm a freelance DP based right here in Philadelphia. Today, we're discussing one of the most color accurate full spectrum lights on the market, and that is the Orion 300 FS by ProLight. The Orion 300 FS confidently fades its color temperature from 2000 to 20,000 degrees Kelvin. And what's so unique about this is the Orion 300 FS does it all without using a single white LED emitter. It's about to get a little nerdy, so hang in there. If you remember from school, you would know that sunlight or white light is composed of a full spectrum of colors. And you could prove this by shining white light through a prism, a bowl of water, or simply by observing a rainbow. And you can see here, the colors are not just red, green, and blue. There is a full spectrum of colors that are visible. So why is any of this relevant? That's important because if you wanna build an accurate light source, you're gonna to need to use a little more than a few RGB and white LED emitters. At the heart of the Orion 300 FS is an intelligent diode array composed of not only red, green, and blue, but also amber, cyan, and lime. Using six of these diodes makes this light an RGB ACL single source light. It truly is a clever design. Now this design is far superior to other lights that just use RGB and two white diodes. The RGB ACL design allows you to achieve a wider color gamut that just is not possible with other RGB lights. This chromaticity diagram shows every single color the human eye can detect. The shaded area in this outline shows every color an RGB WW light can reproduce. By adding amber, cyan, and lime, you are dramatically adding to the amount of colors your light is capable of reproducing. More colors means more accurate white light across a greater color temperature range. What's equally impressive is the Rhine 300 FS maintains its color accurate temperatures even at lower power intensities. And this is possible because of the light's onboard hyperlight LED engine, which is able to take all of those colors in the diode array and mix them accurately. Each Orion 300 FS unit is carefully calibrated during the manufacturing stage to not only ensure quality, but to also balance for any inconsistency with the LED chips. When you turn on the light, you'll notice a cascading color rainbow effect. This effect is actually an auto calibration of the light. It uses an optical feedback system during boot up to optimize the output of the light in real time. This calibration ensures accurate color temperatures even at lower power intensities. Now for a light, what does it even mean to be accurate? What are you looking at? With accuracy, you're measuring two components. You're measuring the color temperature and the color shift. Measuring the accuracy of color temperature is very straightforward. You set the CCT or color temp value on the ballast and use a light meter to take a reading to see if those numbers match up. Color shift is very important because you could have a light that has a very accurate color temperature, but a strong color shift where you'll get a noticeably green or magenta tint to your light's color. The point here is the Orion 300 FS is accurate in both those areas of color temperature and color shift. Even some professional bicolor and RGB lights are notorious for their unwanted color shift. And that is why we look at color shift by trying to find the presence of green or magenta light with a value called Delta UV. Don't be afraid, science is hard, I get it. But we need to briefly talk about Delta UV. 
Relax, I could feel you tensing up on me, and I just wanna let you know that when you measure for color shift, you're looking at a delta UV number that is outside of plus minus 0.0024, because that means there's a little bit of green magenta, and you need to use a 1 8 correction gel for accurate white light. Now, a delta UV that's positive means it's green. A delta UV number that's negative means there's a little magenta. And if the number is within plus or minus 0.0024, guess what? That means there's no color shift or it's barely noticeable to the human eye. Look at that. We are done talking about delta UV and we never have to talk about that again unless you want to. Now, in this clip, we are using a Sakonic color meter to measure both the color temperature and color shift as we change in real time the CCT value on our Orion 300 FS. Pay special attention to the delta UV value. You'll notice that as the CCT numbers change in real time, the delta UV number stays well within that 0.0024 range. This means there's no green or magenta in our light. Now, any bicolor or RGB light on the market would struggle to achieve these types of results. Once again, this means that the Orion 300 FS is accurate in those two fundamental areas of color temperature and color shift. There you have it. And now we know a little bit more about what it means to have an accurate light and what makes the Orion 300 FS so unique. I'm James Powers, and this is the Orion 300 FS by ProLite, ProLite, Light Done Right.